Mama, if not, we got more. I can't grab it, it's too long. The smell of OSB will forever remind me of our tiny home build. Forever. I can't even smell it. I saw pale. Look at this. You're pale? We're both pale. Look at me. February in North Idaho. Oof. We have the very last of our insulation going in in just two days. So we're going to have that blown in over the attic space. <laughs> and that means that we have a lot to do before they arrive. My booby again. Ah, my booby abuse. <laughs> Hey, look, it's one of our kids. Hey, Eli. Hey. <laughs> so here we are back in the master wing. We're getting back to work. And because we're getting that blow-in insulation done on, in both of our attic spaces, we have one here over the master wing, one over the kid's wing. We need to get our little hatch uh, access point squared away. So we need to do some build-up framing around the actual opening, make sure we get that to about, I think we're gonna go 16 inches high so that we can really, really load up on that bone insulation, keep everything nice and warm. We'll do some framing. We have to do an actual lid to make sure that we can keep that enclosed. And uh, we'll go from there. There's a lot that needs to be done. We need to button up the entire attic space and make sure that that blowing insulation doesn't actually fall through or pour out anywhere. Got your measurements? Yep. Let's go cut some OSB. You are doing a most excellent job. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> you got that? <laughs> yeah, that was your heart. This is a ridiculous amount of headgear. You look cool, though. I know, right? Yeah. It's a lot of cool kids are doing nowadays, Melissa. Your <laughs> mom's safety glasses and headlamps. <laughs> I mean, I'm just praying I don't, you know, Crash fall the through the ceiling. All right, Mama, there you go. Three bare bones. What do you think? I think it looks beautiful. Looks beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not super pretty, but she get the job done. So now we can berm up all of our insulation way, way up here. We went up 16 inches. So nice. Lots of warmth. Yeah. No heat escape through the ceiling. Way thicker than we could have got with baths. I like it. Careful, mama, careful. Don't fall through the ceiling. I'm ready to dig it down. It looks totally different up here. I haven't been up here since we put the ceiling panels on and the insulation in the great room. So before it was just open vaulted ceiling and now it looks like an actual attic. I know, weird, huh? Yeah. Now that we got that riser in place, Jeremy's gonna take some measurements so that we can get the lid made and then we will move around to the other side. Once again, I am hovering by the space heater because it's about 20 degrees in here. So going into February, it's obviously going to be very cold and we are getting pretty close to taping and mudding our drywall. We need to keep inside the house pretty warm in order to do that. So we are going to be relying on space heaters. Many of you guys have wondered why we have not turned on our HVAC system and that is because this is a very dusty environment obviously with all the sanding and mudding and texturing that we're going to be doing and you cannot suck all that into your HVAC system. You'll actually void your warranty which obviously we want to avoid and we don't want to ruin our brand new system. We also have not put our wood stove in yet because we have a lot of build out still to do on that and we have to put the hearth pad in and our flooring and everything so we're just not even ready for that. We're running these space heaters and our plan is to just put plastic over the doors and go room by room. Hopefully that'll work, but if you guys have any better suggestions, we are all ears. 
The first of our two out of caches is complete. So myself and Mrs. Poof are gonna head to the other side and get that one done, huh? Poof, little poofer. Poof, the magic Melissa. Fun of my that hat is weird. Second riser is complete. Let's head down and get a lid put on this thing. Piece and tomorrow we'll pick things up, finish off those gable ends. Yeah, I like it. Nice job. That looks professional. Thanks. You like it? I do. Looks Fashion, good. What would you pay me for this gig? Five job, cents. This project. Five cents? Yeah, like the peanuts. What is this, 1915? Everything costs five cents. Yeah. I will pay you in driving the kids to youth group because you now have five minutes. You pay me in hugs. Hugs. Aww. Hugs. Nice job, Daddy. Nice, Mama. Why are we finished? We'll see. Whenever I have some downtime, I try to get caught up on emails as our channel has grown, so have our opportunities, which often requires me to communicate with a lot of different brands and companies. With as crazy as life gets around here, I found that a lot of my emails were not very efficient and I ended up wasting so much time trying to communicate. Thankfully, we found Grammarly. Grammarly is an all-in-one writing tool that allows you to effectively communicate your ideas through comprehensive feedback across platforms. Grammarly has a free version with basic spelling grammar suggestions, but I found upgrading to Grammarly Premium saved me so much more time with their advanced features. Grammarly is free to download and easy to integrate into your daily life. It works where you work to help you save time and work more efficiently. Sometimes you have to be assertive in your email communication, something that I personally really struggle with. But the Grammarly Premium Tone Transforms helps me strike the right tone and keep my communication confident and polished. I tend to type how I talk, which often leads to babbling and incomplete thoughts. But the Grammarly Premium Clarity Full Sentence Rewrites helps me to transform those hard to read sentences effectively and clearly. One of my favorite tools is the Grammarly Free Tone Detector because it helps me say what I mean without my message being misinterpreted. Recently, Grammarly helped us find the best door in Trimview locally and communicate exactly what we needed and when. Get through those emails quicker and your work by keeping it concise, confident, and in the right tone with Grammarly. Go to Grammarly.com slash GSL to get started with a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today to help you work more efficiently. Thank you. 
Do you guys remember the to-do list that we had a couple weeks ago? Well, we ended up walking away from it and we still had two things to do on our to-do list. Today we have to complete these because our blow-in insulation is happening tomorrow, which means all of these bays have to be covered up. We have a front and back bay up on our cathedral ceiling that did not get the insulation put in because we still have some nail backers to do. So today we are going to get those nail backers up, we're gonna get it all insulated, and we will be ready. You all set up up there? Yeah, I think so. Let's get some lumber. The well, snow sure has melted. Yeah, you're not uh, swimming your way through snow mountains to get lumber out. Not thigh high anymore. So, honey, that's where you go. Not trying to be more. Thanks, Mama. Such a nice view from up here. I hate to say it, but damn, it's a nice view. Up here. Nail backers are up on one side, we're going to get it insulated and we'll move to the other side. You like it up here? Yeah, it's cool. I'm trying to figure out how we could make this a functioning loft, but without putting a railing up and then blocking these windows from down below, it it just makes it really difficult because you obviously have to have a railing when you're eight feet up in the air. And I don't know that I want to do that, but I love the view up here, so I'm a little torn. It is so incredible to be getting this insulation up finally because we've been staring at these empty cavities and it's just one of those things that you see every day that you know you need to get done and just knocking off those little to-dos, it feels good. It feels like, woo, making progress. Get the other side.
as I carry my weight around here, or at least use my weight to make sure that this ladder does not become top heavy and Jeremy just, you know, goes tumbling off, I'm gonna enjoy our snack belt choice of the day, which are chips from New Brunswick, Canada. So these were sent over to us and we got a few different flavors, but this one was really interesting to me because we don't have these flavors here in the United States, like ketchup and creamy dill. So they took four flavors. They took barbecue, salt and vinegar, ketchup and dill, and then they mix them all together in one single bag. Really strange medley, but it totally works. So these are called storm chips. I'm guessing because it is the perfect storm of flavors. Thank you so much, our Canadian friends, for sending these over. All right, you can continue nailing. This is the last piece of insulation that we're going to be putting in this house. Well, not. We got a couple more in the shower in the master bath. Oh. Almost the last piece. You just took all the romance out of it. That's what I do. Sorry, Mama. You're right. I forgot that section. It's a very, very early morning for us here today. That's why my eyes look the way they do. <laughs> it's like seven. <laughs> Earlier than we're used to uh, getting up and getting going. But we have the crew here that's going to be doing all the blowing insulation. You can see they're moving all their gear in. This is a very exciting day and hopefully yeah. it makes a difference because it is incredibly, incredibly cold. And this week is supposed to get down to teens and single digits again. Oh, really? Hoping this makes a difference. Oh, no. <laughs> We do what we have to do to grab the shots we need. It's not the one I've already come in here. Tell me you don't feel a difference. Doesn't it feel warmer? Yeah. And our slider is open as a um, I can't believe it's noticeably warmer. Yeah, it's definitely warmer. I think because it's a very sunny day and it's retaining that heat now. Yeah, we're on the south side of the house, but still, huge difference. Oh, I love that. That makes me really excited. So the guys got all of the blow and insulation done over the master wing and they have now moved over to the kids wing. So they are almost done and then Jeremy and I can get to work.
And just like that, all of our blow-in is complete. They came in, got it done really, really quick, and it is making a considerable difference. You can definitely tell that it's much, much warmer in here now. Yeah, it is significantly more comfortable in here. So we're gonna run some space heaters and we're gonna let some of this hazy dust settle because it is heavy in the air right yeah. now. And then we're gonna head back out here because we have one last thing on our list that we have to do today. Environment here in the house has really cleared up. A lot of that dust and uh, insulation that was falling and just kind of was in the air has settled down. So we need to get back to work here in the master bath. We have a bunch of things that we need to do before we continue on with getting all of our drywall put up. Just some little odds and ends that need to be completed before we can move on. Hey, can you do me a favor and just find whatever insulation it is you can scrounge up, shove it into that corner. I'm gonna go to the shop, find some one line material because we need something for a nail back there. I don't know if I have enough room for a two by six. So. Okay. Uh, we'll get it done. Thank you, Ma. We've got the insulation graveyard over here, so I'm just gonna grab random flooring insulation. We had some work here in this corner of the house that needed to be resolved. Back when we did our exterior wall framing, we ended up with a very narrow cavity and we didn't have a nail backer put in place ahead of time. So in order to resolve that issue, Melissa went ahead and shoved as much insulation as she could back in this very narrow corner. And I found some one by material rather than two by material because two by four and a two by six, just I couldn't make that turn. So we were able to get the, the one by back there. It is really very solid. And now with all of that secured set up in place, we can get some drywall put up here in our potty room. Our next step in prepping the bathroom for a drywall is to get the vanity light boxes set. We're gonna set our vanity lights at about 80 inches. Jeremy wants a really big mirror, so we're going on the higher end. I'm tall. <laughs> yeah, true. And uh, <laughs> so we're gonna get those boxes set into place, and then that way we can get the drywall on, cut around them, and we'll be good to go. You're so vain. Bet you think this song is, because it's vanity, right? No? I'll leave now. Shower the last thing we're doing today? Last thing. I got a bump. We're 18 inches to the center drain, so both of these have to be bumped out. Okay. And then we need to add just some additional studs outside of what's already there. But that's the last thing. Okay. Should do it. On day two of filming this week, we got some very difficult news from Jeremy's old department. The kind of news that cuts you to your core and stops you in your tracks. He didn't quit working, but he was quiet. So quietly we worked, and quietly we both reflected. Even though Jeremy left law enforcement, it was such a huge part of our lives for so many years. And forever, when we hear about these events, we'll go back to that place. But when it's somebody that you've sat with and talked about life and kids with, it hits home. It was a difficult week for many, and I don't think that anyone quite knows how to feel or what to say or what to even think. So for now, we'll just be okay with being a little quiet.